Hello, I'm Bill Terra. Disease is generally described as an enemy, invisible and mysterious. It's reflected in the way that we discuss illness. Uh, we're, we're fighting heart disease, we're battling cancer, we're, we're going to uh, conquer diabetes. Both Donald Trump and Boris Johnson have declared war on the coronavirus this week. But who or what are we fighting? As long as the enemy is concealed behind a cloak of mystery, we can leave the battle up to the wizards of science and, and hope for the best. And in order to discover the real culprit, all we really need is a mirror. As I said in an earlier post, the, the cause of our problems lie in our own habits. The solutions lie there too. If my illness is caused by a, a, a virus or a bacteria or uh, the punishment of an angry god or the position of the stars, then I'm blameless. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to consider changing. And we rebel against change. Our immediate concerns, of course, are uh, we want to protect ourselves and we want to protect our families from this contagion. But fighting the invisible can be frightening. We need to seek out ways to strengthen our resolve and empower ourselves. And there's much that we can do. The solutions lie right at our fingertips. It's a simple fact that the ability to survive exposure to any pathogen is the health of the immune system. The strength of our immune response is largely within our own control because immunity begins in the gut. It's here in the body, in the gut, that the majority of immune factors are created. The lymph tissue in the gut represents almost 70% of the entire immune system. The immune activities in the gut are, uh, affect immunity all throughout the body, including the lungs, which are one of the primary targets of the coronavirus. The focus of all immunity lies in the health of the gut microbiome. This community of microorganisms is profoundly influenced by the food that we eat. Eating a nutrient-rich diet with plenty of probiotics and prebiotics are the keys to creating health in our gut. This stimulates general health and guarantees that our immune system is functioning to its full potential. Prebiotics include f common foods such as uh, whole cereal grains, beans, and a, and a variety of vegetables. And probiotics are those fermented foods like miso, tempeh, uh, fermented vegetables like sauerkraut. The combinations of these foods should be eaten every day as part of a healthy vegan diet, a diverse diet, a healthy diet. We all need to school ourselves in, 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 the, in the simple life skills of, of healthy living. Uh, this includes uh, learning how to choose foods that are healthy for us and, and, and how to prepare and cook them. With the current pandemic in full swing and, and people being isolated in their own homes, uh, uh, it's interesting to see which foods were selling out most at the local supermarket. Uh, for instance, uh, the frozen pizza case, uh, which is much larger than I ever imagined that it was, was empty almost immediately. And the frozen meal cases were completely wiped out during the first week. See, these are not foods to create a healthy biome. These are not foods which protect us. So if you're spending your time at home, uh, check out our website. Download the free recipes that you'll find there in eBooks, in including our comprehensive diet survey, What to Eat. And for these lonely days, isolated, uh, you might order a copy of my book, How to Eat Right and Save the Planet, as I think you'll enjoy it. So keep well. Keep healthy from the inside out. Thank you for listening. This is Bill Terra for Macrovegan. Be well.